Happening tomorrow, Scott Peterson is back in court again, and this time it could lead to a bombshell moment. The Los Angeles Innocence Project is stepping into this infamous case, requesting a mountain of evidence to see if there's any truth to Peterson's claim that he is innocent of killing his wife and unborn son. Crowd Force Teresa Stasio joins us live from the newsroom with more on this big hearing. Well, hi, Grant and Noel. One item of particular interest is a van that reportedly had blood stains found inside a day after Lacey went missing. Here's a close-up look at that burned van with a mattress inside with apparent blood stains. The Los Angeles Innocence Project wants to review all of the reports of the van and most importantly, use current forensic technology. And what's key is that now the Innocence Project brings technology in DNA and other forensic evidence that's 20 years down the road from the time of Lacey and Connor's murder. Is that DNA evidence available to be tested? What does it show? Legal analyst Stephen Clark says it is significant to have the group get involved. That the Innocence Project has taken on the Peterson case speaks volumes and it suggests that there is a potential here for Peterson to get a new trial if they can show that Lacey Peterson was still alive when Scott Peterson went fishing Christmas Eve 2002. In addition to the van, other evidence requested includes reports collected from the search of the Bay Area Marina where Lacey's remains were found. Police reports on a burglary across the street from the Peterson home and access to interviews conducted on eyewitnesses that reported seeing Lacey after she went missing. Analyst Clark says that the bottom line in digging into this case years later is to ensure the integrity of our legal system. This project may not show that Scott Peterson didn't commit the murders. They want to look at this to make sure that the jury got this right one way or the other. So it could be that the Innocence Project's information suggests that the jury did get it right. I mean, certainly there was a lot of evidence in the Peterson trial to suggest he was guilty, including his behavior during the time of the homicide. In January, the Innocence Project asked to take a closer look at 16 pieces of evidence. A judge tomorrow could make a broad ruling on this and order prosecutors to hand it all over. We have you covered. We are going to be in the courtroom first thing tomorrow morning to provide you the very latest updates. Cameras are not allowed, but we can blog from the courtroom in the newsroom. I'm Teresa Stasio. Back to you guys.